Welcome to Reality Scoop. Please can you take the time to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and the like button, it's free for you but means the world to us, thank you. Now on with our video. In the heart of Ballygally, Northern Ireland, a chilling tale whispers through the winds. Here, among the ancient stones of Ballygally Castle, a spectral pack of hounds is said to roam, their ghostly howls echoing through the night. Unseen by most, they are ever watchful, ever vigilant, their presence known only by the eerie wails that pierce the silence. These phantom hounds, as legend has it, are the spectral guardians of the castle's long-deceased residents. Their duty, it seems, is to serve and protect, even in the afterlife. Locals tell tales of these spectral canines, their stories passed down from generation to generation, woven into the very fabric of Ballygally's history. Their ghostly howls, some say, are a warning to those who dare to trespass on the castle's sacred ground. Others believe they are simply the lonely cries of faithful hounds, forever waiting for their master's return. So, if you ever find yourself in Ballygally, listen carefully for the haunting howls of its spectral hounds. Travel with me now to Merlot Bay, where an eerie tale of a cursed coachman lingers like a chilling sea mist. Our tale begins with a man of ill repute, a coachman known for his wicked deeds. They say he was as cruel and unforgiving as the jagged cliffs that line Merlot Bay. Now, in death as in life, he is condemned to drive his spectral carriage along these very cliffs, a prisoner of his own malevolence. The coachman's journey is no leisurely drive. It's a treacherous route, fraught with danger. The cliffs are steep and unforgiving, the sea below raging and relentless. Yet he navigates this perilous path night after night, a grim reminder of the life he once led. Over the years, many have claimed to have seen the cursed coachman. Some speak of a ghostly figure shrouded in darkness, others of a spectral carriage drawn by phantom horses. But all agree on one thing, the chilling sound of the horse's hooves echoing through the still night air like a haunting lullaby. This spectral procession is not just a sight to behold, it's a symphony of the supernatural. The whispers of the wind carry the mournful clip-clop of phantom hooves, a chilling cadence that reverberates through the soul. This spectral symphony crescendos into a chilling climax as the ghostly carriage disappears into the mist, leaving only the echo of its presence behind. Some say this is the coachman's punishment for his wicked ways, a testament to the old saying that you reap what you sow. Others believe it's a warning, a chilling reminder of the consequences of a life ill-led. But whatever the reason, the story of the cursed coachman serves as a chilling reminder of the darker side of Merlot Bay's history. A history steeped in mystery and intrigue, where the line between the living and the dead is as blurred as the misty horizon. Remember, if you ever hear the distant clip-clop of hooves in Merlot Bay, it may just be the cursed coachman, forever doomed to his ghostly ride. Our final tale takes us to the shores of Loch Nee, where beneath its tranquil waters lies a chilling secret. Now this isn't your run-of-the-mill ghost story. No, this one is steeped in ancient myth and folklore, a tale that has been passed down from generation to generation. The legend we delve into today tells of a village that once existed on the very spot where Loch Nee, Ireland's largest lake, now rests. It was a thriving community, its people living in harmony with nature. However, as the story goes, this tranquil existence was disrupted when the villagers angered the gods. The details vary from one telling to another, but the crux remains the same. Some say it was a case of hubris, the villagers growing too proud and boastful. Others claim it was a sacred rule broken, a line crossed that should have never been. Regardless of the cause, the result was a divine punishment that still echoes today. In a single night of fury and storm, the lake swelled, swallowing the village whole. Houses, fields, lives, all were lost to the depths of Loch Nee. A chilling reminder of the consequences of angering the divine. But here's where the story takes an even more eerie turn. On quiet nights when the wind is still and the lake's surface glassy, it is said that you can hear the bells of the village church tolling from beneath the water. A ghostly chime, a mournful lament for the lost village echoing across the tranquil surface of the lake. Some dismiss it as mere folklore, a spooky tale spun to frighten children. Yet, there are those who swear on the truth of the legend. They've heard the bells, they say, a haunting melody that resonates in their hearts, 
a chilling reminder of the village that once was. So, if you ever find yourself by Loch Nee, listen carefully. You might just hear the ghostly chimes of the lost village beneath the lake. I hope you enjoyed the video. We at Reality Scoop enjoyed making it for you. Please give this video a thumbs up as this really does help us out a lot. Also if you like our content please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be made aware of our next upload. By subscribing to the channel it really does help us out, plus it's free for you to do. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.